My backyard is pretty epic. I'm very blessed to have a place like this. And earlier last year, I showed this place off and we built a pump track, but I never updated you guys on any more builds yet. And I really regret that. I have been slowly working on stuff since, but admittedly not as much as I should have been. But for today's video, I really want to work on this bit of land here with this huge rock. What you see here is a uh, pretty sweet looking rock drop. I uh, found this while uh, exploring my property. It could be around 10-ish, 12-ish feet, something like that. So we're gonna need to clear away this whole landing quite a bit. Um, and also the rock up top has tons of ferns, so we're gonna have to clear up the whole rock so we can actually see a good run in. I think this has some sweet potential for a really awesome rock drop. So let's get building. The run-in is a bit of a mess as you can see. I don't even know what this will look like once we clear it all away, so hopefully it'll still work as a run-in. Definitely pointed downward here, and then you just drop off. So as of right now, the landing looks flatter than the, than the lip off of it. <laughs> so we'd have to steepen that landing quite a bit. Clearing this rock was more work than I was expecting. There was quite a layer of organic material and dirt here supporting all these big ferns. I was getting the help once in a while from a young kid named Jaden, so it was nice to get a little helping hand. But as you can tell, I started this in the summertime when it was very dry. I knew I needed to wait for the rain to come in order to finish this drop. But we also had a very long and late summer. The rain finally came in late October. I've never seen it so dry and warm in October in all my life. So this rain was a very welcome change. All right, the rain has finally come. Everything is getting wet. The leaves are falling even more. The ground is finally getting damp, but not that damp though, so far. It's only gotten the surface of this dirt and I've got dust right here already. And there's gonna be a ton of rain coming in the next few days as well. So this is what it looks like coming into the drop. Go down the rock here. Got a smoother kind of takeoff point there. About 12 feet up, there's a landing. We're gonna to have to do a lot of work to make this thing a lot steeper. So we're gonna to wanna to dig out this area a whole bunch pile the dirt up top to make it much steeper. And you can see it uh, it actually naturally steepens out here, but then we're in a little bit of a valley and then it kind of goes up right there too. So we've got a lot of work to do to smooth all of this out and make a nice gradual and steep enough landing. Shaping this landing was definitely the biggest task of this whole build. There was quite a lot of organic to get rid of and the dirt was actually pretty rocky. So it was not the easiest to shovel through. And there's a lot of dirt we got to move to make it in the right shape. Now, before we finish that rock drop, I do want to show you what else I've been doing out here last spring and summer. I was intending on making another video here last summer, but then that got delayed mostly because of how dry it was, so I couldn't even build at a certain point. So you remember this area where all these vines are covering these rocks? They are invasive, so it is good to get rid of some of them, but I do still want to see what some of these rocks look like underneath for potential lines. I'm slowly eyeing up what's possible out here, but I still have to see what we're working with. While we're up here, I wanted to see if I can save some of these trees that are getting smothered by these vines. And then I discovered something. We uh, got some big water barrel just smothered under these vines. Something else in here. We've got a ladder. Wonder how long this stuff has been up here for. My guess is around like 15 years or so. Look how thick some of these vines have been getting. Look at all this. I don't know, these trees may be dead already, but still gonna try cutting these off and see if I can save them. It also turns out there was not one, but three big water barrels hiding up here and they had hoses in them. It looked to me like they were used for irrigation or something. My brother also fixed up the zip line that already was here. I think you just need to buy a whole new cable for it. So now we've got a zip line in our backyard. Go for it. Do you remember that step down we built near the pump track? Well, it needs a bit of tuning up. I just want to fix up that landing. It's too soft. All right, landing's looking a bit better. But then there's the berm going into the step down lip 
which is non-existent, so why don't we add one? Looking pretty sick. Now it's time to test ride it. Okay, let's do it. That was sick. Just lying at the very top. And let's get back to this rock drop. It's rained more, so let's finish this landing off. Still a lot of work since I was mostly all just by myself. The snow has come. The first snowfall of the year just came last night. Only a couple inches of snow, and what I really gotta do is just remove this big huge rock out of this landing. So we'll see if we can get this rock out. Thankfully it actually was removable. My fear was that it was part of some huge rock slab underneath that would be unmovable, and that would affect my landing design. Looks like we can still make it the way I want. Rock is out. All right guys, so I'm just on top of the rock here. It's difficult to dig into the dirt there because it's just so frozen. So I'm just kind of wondering if there's more work I can get done on the run-in here, just clearing away all that kind of stuff here. Not that you really need that much of a run-in. I mean, even if you start the bikes like right here, it's such a slow speed drop that like this is good enough speed, but it's still fun to have a bit more of a run-in anyways. So let's see what I can do. As of right now, this is sort of just a one-hit wonder. There's not really a trail going into it or out of it, though there is certainly potential for lots of that in this area. I got some friends, Wes and Mac, to come out and help. Yeah, I want the landing, like, I think this is a nice, pretty nice steepness. I, I really like how, how steep this is looking. And with the three of us, things are really starting to take shape. For the edges of this landing, I figure I'll just put some logs around, for one, just for aesthetics, but also just help keep in some dirt. This landing is looking so sick. The landing used to be, what was it? Was it like at least a footer? I don't know how much you moved it, but uh, it used to be further this, this way. Log. That was here. Like that log used level to be right level right there. right there. So we moved it forward. It's that means it's gonna be a, actually. it's not as slow of a drop, which is probably gonna be sweet. Okay, let's take a look from the top end here. Coming in here. That does look good. It still looks like a slow drop, right? Yeah, like it, yeah. I think the amount that we did looks pretty nice. And what's interesting, because you can come in different ways too, like you can come high here, or you can go on this side too. Yeah, I like the run-in too, it's just kind of like rugged rock, so it's a slow run-in anyways. You're not like racing into this. I'm really happy with how this landing is looking, and I think it's going to work out really well. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is finally get rid of some of these branches that are right in the way of the drop. My head would definitely smack against those. What we've got here is a uh, old saw we found on the property. Old and rusty. But you know what? I think it's still gonna work. My dad is gonna try this as well. All right, that rusty thing did the trick. It's nice and open, I like it. Now to get this run in looking good, really I just need to take a rake to it. And for decoration, I figure I'll just put a bunch of rocks on the outer edges. What do you guys think of this? The landing is almost complete. Just gotta do some finishing touches here. It was actually pretty annoying digging into this landing because it's very rocky. But we've got a really nice pile of smooth clay dirt over here. I'm gonna throw that on top of the landing. We'll pack that in and then it'll be ready to ride. All right guys, we're finally gonna test out the drop. I brought up my maiden. We're gonna test this thing out. I'm so excited. I just hope I don't like sink in the landing too much. <laughs> I think it should be fine. <sighs> this is the thing about this drop. All right, take a look at this. 
let's just have a look, see. No, this looks super good. I think it should be perfect. Oh yeah, it should be super chill. Okay, dropping in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I sunk in there so much. That was hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that was a sketch. Otherwise, it was great. It was just that I was like, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I think this time I'm gonna go down the middle, do it up. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. I'm definitely underestimating the speed required for this drop. But you know what's funny though, is I didn't even feel that I cased it. My rear tire like just made, I didn't feel any case, but. Well, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At this point, it's just a matter of perfecting this landing. We slightly adjusted the logs in the back and otherwise just making it look really presentable. I brought up my friends again, and Alex is gonna try it out today. It's just, Did yeah, because coming coming in, like, look how steep of a run in this is. Like, it is, it's, yeah. you're pointing down the whole way, and then when you see the, the landing, it's like, it's steeper than the run in for sure, but there's a bit of a mind game. Yeah, I love all the different optional lines into it. I know, it is pretty neat. Pretty neato. Got the fog. Yo, buddy! Sick! Gotta Sick, do, bro. You gotta do one more. You definitely don't sink in as much as when I first did it. <laughs> That's a lot better. <laughs> Yo! That was good. It's bomb! Yeah, dude. Well, it seems like this drop is working and we're getting to know how to actually ride this thing. Also, Wesley and Alex want to build something right after it. So, as you can see, Wesley and Alex were building a pretty sick looking shark fin jump over here. Hopefully it's gonna work. So we land the drop, keep all your speed, don't hit the brakes, and I'm thinking this should probably work. Jump over the log, or we could even get rid of the log if we want, land around there, and then otherwise find a spot to curve out that way. I think that looks like a lot of fun, but we're not gonna be finishing that up until we make sure that the drop is fully pimped out and looking absolutely mint. And now it's Wesley's turn to hit it for his first time. Oh, you're definitely not gonna overshoot. Yo. Yeah, it is, huh? It's a bit of a mind game. I've never hit a drop like that. That's the first time. Yeah? Sick. It was worth it. I'm gonna do it again. Nice. Wow. That's not your average rock drop. That is technical. Yeah, I know, huh? You landed like one or two inches farther. Yeah, you really need to work. And for the thumbnail, I gotta make this thing look extra pretty. We just pack it all in. And here's the final form of the rock drop. This landing is looking perfect. I'm so happy with this. 12 feet, eh? Hey? For sure. I was trying to measure the vertical height of this and it's probably almost 12 foot vertical drop. I'm loving my decorations on the side here. What do you guys think of this build? Let me know in the comments below. If you think this is pretty sweet, give a like and subscribe for a lot more building videos to come this year. Yo, <laughs> that was perfect. Dude, that was amazing. Where did you get that bike from there, boy? Uh, Walmart. Oh, nice. Yeah, good section. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, sweet. It was really springy, so I liked it. Yeah, excellent. But yeah, it's like you need more speed than you think, huh? Whoa, <laughs> dude, I was nose heavy there too. <laughs> it's a funny feeling, man. Yeah. It's a gnarly drop to be going nose heavy like that. Yeah. It's like a World Cup drop. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't help that the run-in's still pretty wet and mucky. 
This time, we're gonna do this. Okay. That was a bit of the opposite. Slap my fork a little bit there. Okay. Now that we're really getting the hang of this, it's kind of addicting. Just give it a pedal. Perfect. I landed more both wheels at the same time. Getting the hang of it. You look really comfortable. And now that I'm feeling more comfortable, we obviously yeah. have to ride this on the Boost Monster. Yeah. 300 millimeters of squish, 49 pounds, which means it's a bit of a nightmare trying to bring this thing up here. But it's oh so worth it. Okay, Boost Monster. This should be so sick on this drop. Let's freaking do this. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's nothing, dude. It left the biggest impact though when you landed. Did it? I used like, yeah, a good bit of it. It was just so smooth, like. Yo! Dude, I actually, I go quicker with this bike. I actually had to tap the brakes just before. That felt good. Or if I just came like straight down the rock there, that'd be sick. Yo! It was such a jank run in. You should have seen me. And we're, we never cased it, that's good. Or at least like, like there's a case there, but I'm just glad we're not like hitting the log is all. Yeah. That is so cool. All right guys, that was a super fun build and the drop was so much fun. Um, we hit it a bunch of times. I'm really happy with how it turned out. What else would you guys like to see us build out here in my backyard, Boostmasters bungalow? I'm really excited. There's so much different places to build. So I've just got too much to work on right now. And um, the next step, we're gonna be building a really huge step down in another part of the property. That's gonna be my next video. So I'm excited to show you that. But otherwise, this is kind of just a one hit wonder. There's nothing after it. There's nothing before it so far. Um, otherwise, we were kind of building the shark fin as you can see here. Give a like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, see you next time.